Hey everyone, and back to my Power Wash Simulator Let's Play, and let's have a little look at the garden, what's going on. So we are getting there, man. Look at this. This is looking sheeny, shiny, and apparently we're at 82% cleaned of this garden, and it's actually looking all right. All right. Let's have a little look up here. Uh, this is looking pretty clean. I've lost my steps, though. They were not there when I last finished. Somebody has moved them because I was about to finish off this bad boy over here, the weird swing sofa uh, that I'm still a bit mixed on as to whether, you know, it is a sensible thing to make a swing and a sofa, you know, combined. Would you do this or would you not? I like to sit on a sofa. I like to swing on a swing, but I'm not sure I want to swing on a sofa. But maybe that is genius, this, and I am just not, you know, down with that idea. I don't know. Have you got a sofa swing? You tell me. And if so, why have you got one? And you'll probably tell me because I like the idea of combining them both. Fair do. You know, if that's if that's what you like to do, my friend you knock yourself out so well not literally i suppose you could with a sofa swing have you if you have a sofa swing have you ever had an accident in it uh, or is that not really possible personally i think this sofa swing makes it look like it is very easy to hurt yourself uh, and knock the entire thing over into the bush i've just noticed that under here is a filthy and look at that top left how that bar is coming down as we wash underneath our sofa swing. How do you make under there that dirty? I do not know. But then, if they didn't, I wouldn't be earning all this money, would I? I wouldn't be so rich from earning from Power Wash Simulator. So what you may have seen as I'm playing Power Wash Simulator, I'm slowly getting more skilled at doing a bit of power washing. Well, I think I am anyway. You're probably going, dude, you are the worst power washer I've ever seen. This is quite possible too. Um, you know, so I will continue my quest to get slowly better at this game and hopefully give you things to ponder about. And uh, maybe you give me things to ponder about in the description, not the description. That'd be impressive if you could adjust the description of my video. Um, the comments. Because I'm a bit weird in that I still reply to comments even though, you know, we're getting more and more views on the channel. And I keep messing around with Let's Plays. And I know people go, oh man, Let's Plays, uh, I, I don't watch them anymore. And people obviously do still watch them. And I still think they're nice. Woo, I cleaned the roof. What about this? The cushion is apparently nearly done. Yes, we're cooking now. And what I'm attempting, and whether that's stupid or not, maybe, is to cover games that are relaxing. Um, and hopefully, the rambling is also relaxing. That was my plan. Whether it's a good plan, I don't know. It may be, it may not. The shed is looking a mess. The shed, I don't know. Is it okay to power wash a shed? I suppose so, because it's not falling down. Um, but I'm not sure. It is disgusting. But we will fix it, my friends. Look, we are 84% clean in this garden. And, you know, this dude, he must be so excited that he can nearly... You're probably thinking, who? The owner of the garden. Him and his family. I can't remember his name. We could look on the job board, I suppose, but he, he was very keen to get in this garden and you know enjoy it for all that it's worth. You know, he can now barbecue, he can stick his kid in the tiny little miniature car, or he could get in the tiny miniature car and barbecue, I suppose, if he really wanted to. Uh, that's probably not a good idea and probably means he's had a little too much beer, but it is an option. You know, because now he can get in that car and not get all his clothes all dirty. He can even escape into the shed where he could do secret man things uh, that involve constructing stuff 
and thinking about stuff or reading stuff or whatever else you would like to do in a shed. General tinkering, I think, is good to do in a shed. Uh, maybe you could put a tiny little lathe in there and get into a bit of wood turning. Uh, this is also an option in the shed. You could get into gardening. You know, the garden is looking quite nice. He may be of the age where gardening becomes a thing that you could become interested in growing stuff uh, rather than just killing stuff. I'm not saying he's a mass murderer. I'm just saying, you know, in your, in your young age, you tend to play a lot of destructive video games where you kill things. Uh, and maybe that's not what you want to do as you get that little bit older. Maybe you just want to, you know, play games where you use the power washer like me here as I'm getting older. I thought, you know what? We'll have a little look at this. Maybe that is mad. But it strikes me, and that was the point here, that life is getting a bit stressful at times. And sometimes it's just nice to see something different. Do something different. You know, play a different style of game. Play with the power wash simulator. And see why people like cleaning stuff like this in a game. And one of the cool things versus real life, because I was like, why wouldn't you do it in real life, is we're not wasting water. You know, so water's fairly precious in certain places. I suppose we're wasting electric. Um, but maybe that's not as much as how much water we'd be using cleaning outside. And maybe we're helping our mind a little bit as well. You know, just chilling. Uh, with this hopefully relaxing gameplay. There's some very crusty bits on the shed. This weird yellow stuff that I've seen all over this garden. Oh, the hanging planter. We got a buck for cleaning that. I'm liking that little star. Do you reckon this is a little... Who's it who's got the star? America has a star, don't they? And some of their symbols. I think China does as well. I might be completely wrong. I think we're going to need maximum power here to get this crust. Let's get down low. Yes. That is looking much better there. Is that knee cleaning down there? Or is that clean? Let's see. No, that does indeed need cleaning. And here. Uh, which, what about that one? Look, clean it, yep. Beautiful, what is that? What is that crust there? What I quite like about this as well is that even though there's like heavy crust here, <laughs> when it's cleaned off, we have remarkably nicely conditioned paint still on here, which personally, I think if you hit it with a pressure washer at this power, it would take half the paint off as well. But maybe it doesn't. Maybe this is special super paint. Uh, you tell me. I'm going to need my trusty uh, step in a minute to help with this cleaning escapade. Here we go. This would go straight through that window, I think, in real life. Unless that is like a bulletproof glass. You know, maybe this is James Bond's shed or something. And it's actually very, very safe indeed. I do ramble some random stuff, don't I, when I play games. It's part of my therapy, I think. It's just, you know, if you're feeling a little bit, whew, you know, what should I cover today? Just ramble some rubbish. And maybe that's of interest to people. I don't know. I'm hoping it is, because what I want you to do, or what I would appreciate you doing, is drop me a comment or two. Different comments, though. And not just first or third, second. Give me something about the gameplay, about sheds, about James Bond, about your life. Stuff that we can connect with and emote to. Because one of the things I love about YouTube is how we just discover different people and different ideas, connect with one another. And it doesn't have to be a big investment of time. You know, it can just be drop a comment, you drop a comment, I drop a reply. Bit of a connection there. I know you watch the video. You know I reply to you. And um, hey presto. We've done some stuff. We're connected. Alright.
<laughs> oh, I'm mad. Yes, one of the weird things is I still reply to most comments on my channel. As long as they're not mean comments. I ain't got time for mean. If things are mean, if people are trolling, just leave them to it. Stuff the trolls, man. Stuff them. Right, pick up that. I do like that my dude has telescopic arms. I think I might actually be Mr. Tickle. Uh, so let's put that there. How do I put it down? There. Whew. Beautiful. Well, the shed roof is a bit minging. I'm getting there though. So if you've watched previous episodes, you will know that I have already learned how that top very useful bar works now in that if it's white it means it needs cleaning and as it drops down to all blue that means we're all good man we have cleaned everything on whatever we're pointing at so we are on the shed roof here and uh, that is looking a lot better than it was a teeny tiny bit there let's have a little look around here oh look that's grim under there it is kind of therapeutic looking about you know each area and going what have I missed like a little little nook there personally I don't think you should be firing a power washer up in that crevice because I think there would be a bit of ventilation space with the shed and that would like soak whatever's in the shed but for some reason crust has got up here and the crust must be clean otherwise we don't get paid you know this guy has said to us chief clean like i don't know why am i so low down there we go clean everything otherwise i don't pay you and he's paying the money so he's the boss we should do the good job what the heck is with this roof man is it this side that's crusty? Where's me? Where's my step? I'll pick it up. Let's go around here. Let's go on sideways, fall off it spectacularly. Ah, to be fair, that side is a disgusting. I thought I cleaned this side, maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't clean it very well. That's quite possible with me. Yes! Right, the shed roof is done. What about this? The glass is nearly done. Where are you not happy with? Down here. Beautiful. That's all good. A hanging planter apparently I've missed. Which one? This one. Beautiful. The glass is clean. The shed is clean. Everything is looking good. Right, what have I missed? Barbecue patio flower bed edgings. Right, where is this flower bed edging that you want doing? Where have I missed it? Mm. Hello? Aha! Okay, that is pretty grim. Fair dues. No problem. I do a good job for you. You pay me good money, I do a good job. I'm hopeful that we are finally going to get onto another thing to clean we are look six percent left of this job it surely can't take us long yes uh what else oh no let's get under here done the parasol is disgusting the trouble is i get distracted i, I started the parasol and then i went off and cleaned the barbecue you know as you do uh, that's the kind of guy I am. Start one thing, start another thing, and keep going. Like that. And you'll see that all over my channel. <laughs> I play the most random games, do the most random of stuff. Um, and, you know, I have a random subscriber base as well, which is kind of hard to cater for. And then I thought, you know what? Let's just play what I fancy playing. Let's just do what I fancy doing. If you like that, great. If you don't like that, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I hope, I hope you find something here that's useful. 
Can I get on top of here? Now, I must be very light because, you know, let's, let's face it. If I, in real life, stood on a parasol, I'm not convinced with my six foot four and fairly ample weight, uh, I'm not convinced I could do this like this dude did it. I'm also interested on how I managed to jump up like a ninja on top of there. And I'd also like to know if the dude who hired me came out and saw me standing on top of the parasol, what would he think? You know, would he think, cool. Or would he think, do you know what? That is not a good plan, Chief. Um, I also wonder if the game is smart enough if I jumped over the fence, would it let me back in? Or would it just laugh at me and go, you moron? Probably a bit of both. What else is going on? What we like up here? We could hit the trellis from up here. Oh no, we haven't done the lawnmower. I forgot about the lawnmower. About that parasol. Apparently not quite. Come on, yes. This? Sorry, I've got an itch. The garden table is miles off of being clean, apparently. What have I missed? It's gotta be under here. I've spent quite a bit of time on the garden table, though. I don't know why it's still so disgusting. But we will get it. We will win the garden level. No problem just takes us some time. I'm stuck. Um, where have we missed? I well, missed a little bit there. It's got to be under here that's crusty. There we go. Ah, oh, look. It's all there. Come on. Come on. Give me the, give me the clean table. Yes! What about the chair? You're not happy with the chair, okay. And to be fair, to be fair, the chair was a bit dirty. Uh, can I stand up? Chair's good. Patio, slight dirt somewhere. Where are you not happy with the patio? The patio is so clean, I can't see what is, what is dirty. What's it whinging about? A teeny bit there. Yes! What's left? This. The lawnmower. I had a friend uh, many years ago from Poland and bless him. His English was not the best and one of my favourite stories was one day he came to see me and he said he'd been to the car boot sale and I said, oh, did you get anything nice? And he said, yes. I said, what did you get? He said, a lawn marrow. I said, what's a lawn marrow? He says, you know, and he started walking up and down to marrow the lawn. I was like, ah, a lawn mower. <laughs> I love that. I mean, obviously his English was a lot better than uh, my Polish. Um, but uh, a lovely guy too but I just love that where you get uh, confused with the uh, language that you're talking and we're very lucky being in England that so many people speak English and we don't have to worry but I like that, a lawn marrow marrow the lawn <laughs> come on oh, look, this is, this is um, quite dirty this getting there. The lawnmower is clean. <gasps> that was quick. What's left then? The disgusting trellis. Okay. The trellis is looking nasty to be fair. I'm not sure how best to clean this. Maybe like this. I'd personally pull this trellis out because I think it's it's hiding the, the view of the garden. Obviously I won't tell the chief that because he might have put it in. But yeah, what do you reckon? Or is it to block the wind? I don't know. I could do with my stand to get up a little bit higher. Where is my little step? There it is. Beautiful. Uh, 
let's stick that there. That little blood. We'd be, we'd be stuffed without a step. I'm glad I figured out how to use that. Look at that. Nice. Look, we're at 99%. Is this the last thing? Is this going to say, all right, you've done it? That's quite exciting if it does. Surely I've missed something. Quite nice noise as we hit the trellis. Yes. So what is left? What have we missed? And that fence post looks a bit manky, doesn't it? It's nice to be at the position where we are in the garden now, where we are super close to finishing everything. But I have no idea what I've missed, so it might be time to open the tablet and have a little look. The barbecue patio, apparently. What else we got? Step walls and step edgings. Oh, man. Okay. Step walls and step edging. Oh, that looks manky. Clean that. Beautiful. What's it moaning about? What's step walls and step edging? Okay, there's a teeny bit there. I mean, that is when you're getting pernickety. Ah, uh, you missed a bit. Yes, under there. <laughs> yes. Anymore? They look clean. And that is so clean. What is it whinging about on the barbecue? Oh, look at that. Really? Happy? What else? Oh man, there's a few things. Fence posts. I hate fence posts. Let's see which ones it wants doing. That one. That looks clean. Okay, one done. What else? That one, I know I did. Where? Oh, I'm stuck. This one? Oh, that looks clean. What about over here? Oh, okay. We are surely in the final straight, come on. Is that clean or is it not? Nope. Beautiful. Well, this is quite dirty. This is what makes you stand out though, doesn't it? As a good cleaner of a garden where you just keep going even though you are like 99% there. You just keep going to get the 100. You know, this is what separates the top from the not so top. <laughs> Hello? Uh, come on. Is it this one? Teeny bits here. <laughs> yes, come on. Must be this one. Come on. Where is it? It's down here. Oh, you must be so close. What else? Fence posts. I'm missing one somehow. Where is it? Oh no, hang on. What am I missing? Swing sofa chains? Man. Where? That other one. 
Okay. What else? Uh, fence posts and fence tops. Which fence post have I missed then? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, There's a fence top there. Still needs cleaning. That's done. Nothing's glowing. Oh, that one. Oh, yes. Could be something over here, is it? Hmm. Clean, clean, clean. Come on. What's that? Lawn mower handle I've missed, and hanging planters I've missed, and food shelves. All right, that can be clean, that's easy enough. Come on, come on. I was hoping we get onto the next job with this one, but I think we'll just be short. Oh, okay, that planter. Food shelves. What the heck are food shelves? Is that on the barbecue maybe? Mm. What are food shelves? I am so lost. I don't know what they are. Uh, let's see, what is a food shelf? Aha, okay. On the edge. Nothing worse than a dirty food shelf. Retaining wall caps. <sighs> oh, look. Really? <laughs> We're so close. Step edge. Oh, that's a step edging, isn't it? Oh, okay, they're dirty. And this one? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. And retaining wall caps. What is a cap? Is that that? I don't know what it's moaning about. Where is it? Come on. Everything's clean. No. Nope. No, it's not. Where is it? That one. Hello? Ah, oh, look that. That looks clean. I see no dirt. Is it? Are you being really pernickety? Is it underneath? Yeah! Hey, Doc Cow here. I've got a job for you over at my folks' bungalow when you can fit it in. We have done it. Right. We are right at half an hour, so I'm not going to start the next job, but I am going to bask in our glory. Look at this. Doesn't this look a lot better? This cost... A lot of money for this dude to have this clean, but it was a lot of my time, but it does look nice. I mean, look, they can walk out here. Doggy can go in here with his lead bowl. They can walk through the gate and not get covered in a rubbish. They can sit down and marvel at the lack of view thanks to this trellis that I've cleaned. They could fill up the little pond here and enjoy that and a second pond here just because one pond, it just isn't enough. You obviously need two. I need to remember to take my steps. I'll put them by the back door while I remember. Um, but that is quite cool. I, you know, that was such a, put, him, put him down, put him down. We put him down, thank you. Um, what else we got, a lawn mower, so they can mow the lawn now in peace. They can go into the shed and do various bits of secret stuff. Uh, they can sit in there weird uh, sofa swing and swing away. The little kids can sit in the car and they can cook stuff, uh, preferably not a bird, but the bird can live back in the birdhouse. 
That was a lot of work, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give us a thumbs up, please. That's much appreciated. Any comments, welcome. If you'd like to see more Let's Play like this, do have a little look around the rest of my channel. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe. And if you want me to play more games, let me know what. Thank you.